I'm one of those kids that, um, you know, my, my, my family shows photographs and in every single picture, pencils in my hand. Um, unfortunately, not always yellow ones, um, but um, always drawing as a kid. Drawing for me was, um, you know, a way of, um, it was escapism, I think. My parents split when I was quite young, so I think it was something that I really enjoyed doing, you know, going off into that imaginary world and um, got, you know, a lot of uh, solace and excitement out of all of that, I think. You know, my first uh, sort of placements in a design studio were very early. I mean, you know, my teacher was um, encouraging me. She introduced me to one of the directors of the Partners, uh, you know, one of the most successful design and branding agencies, I don't know, last 20, 20 so years. So, I mean, I was working there, you know, from being 16 and a half. I used to work for, as is uh, David Stewart, you know, all um, past presidents of DNAD themselves. It was like a, a sort of additional art school working there. I learned a tremendous amount there from an early age. And, uh, you know, I went on... Um, to do a degree at Kingston and then, um, you know, a, a master's at the Royal College of Art. Um, you know, still today, I mean, in our studio today, we have many um, Kingston graduates working at GBH. We, we admire the way that they do stuff there. Um, and then I think the education at the RCA, well, you know, its reputation speaks for itself. But as my career's gone on, I've appreciated what I learned there more and more. It, I mean, it was a, it was a Bauhaus. Um, in southwest London, and um, the kind of cross disciplinary way of life at the RCA, I think, has had a major impact on the way that we go about stuff at GBH. I was fortunate to win um, a very early um, DNAD student award before it was called New Blood. So I went travelling, I lived in New York for a month, went to see all my heroes out there Bob Gill, Saul Bass, Milton Glaser, Henry Wolf, all those guys. Um, the meeting with Bob Gill, I remember very, very strongly. I remember uh, as soon as I arrived in New York, getting a letterhead done by a little print shop um, off Broadway. Um, ugly, ugly thing it was. Um, and, um, and writing to him, I ended up with a box of them, but there was only really one letter I needed to write. And um, I, um, I got a call from him, I don't know, sort of 6.30 a.m. one morning, fast asleep. And um, he was, can you be here for seven? And I just strode down Fifth Avenue like a, like a man possessed. I remember him being absolutely vicious in terms of um, going through my work, having all the work out on the, um, on the floor. I remember him saying, is it all right if I tear this? And he was tearing pieces off and saying that should be with that and, you know, moving stuff around and things. And I remember, I remember looking at him thinking, God, you know, you're amazing. I mean, the speed of thought of that guy, and I think probably when I met him, he was probably in his early 60s, and um, he was as sharp as a tack. Uh, so, so, yeah, I think, hell yeah, meet your heroes, um, absolutely. The beginnings of GBH, um, you know, really began at the RCA. I mean, um, at the RCA there was a rich um, heritage, if you like, of students uh, you know, working together in partnerships or in trios or even in fours and, and beginning small agencies. So there was a sort of temperature in the air at the RCA that perhaps you would meet someone that, you know, you could, you could work with. I remember that being quite tangible, you know, day one. Who, who, are the, who are the guys that maybe we can connect with? So, I mean, I was fortunate because one of my partners at GBH, the H, Peter Hale, we were at Kingston together, so we already had a strong working relationship. We met Jason Gregory at the RCA and uh, we began working together um, almost from the off. Uh, we've done a tremendous amount of work with the sports lifestyle brand Puma. Um, actually one of the longest relationships in design I think. I mean we've been working with them now for probably 11 years, more than 400 projects. So there's lots to choose from there but memorable ones I think would be very early one, which we won a DNAD pencil with, a uh, yellow pencil with, uh, where we, um, very straightforward idea of having a, a live Puma Prowler store virtually. Um, so we found um, two Puma cats, um, shot them on green screen and used motorised projectors to get them to leap from shelf to shelf and 
wall to wall and they reach for the footwear and all the rest of it. People often ask us, you know, what's the, what's the key to having such a long standing client relationship? And I think um, it's trust. I think it's trust. Um, but by that, people might assume we mean Puma having trust, but I actually think it's a two way street. And for us to, you know, be keen to do that much work for one brand, um, I think there needs to be a tremendous amount of trust on the agency side too. So, you know, um, it's a wonderful brand to work for. I mean, it's gone from being, um, you know, a very clear underdog um, to now starting to perhaps um, stretch stuff a bit more. Another project I think it's worth um, you having a look at would be the work that we've been doing for uh, an incredible brand called Virgin Galactic. The ambition is to be, um, you know, world's first space line, um, space tourism. Um, a really incredible project to be involved with. I mean, I, I think it, you know, is possibly the most exciting brand on earth right now. And um, uh, what, what's so wonderful about working with Virgin Galactic, I think, is um, you, know, you literally are working uh, with pioneers. Um, you can see their um, determination and bravery in their, in their eyes. Um, and, and that's something I really value because you know, we want to try, at our agency, uh, we want to try to do new things, um, just the same as all creative people do. You know, we want to try to do something we haven't done before, and this is a, a wonderful opportunity to work with a brand that has the same, the same intention. I think in terms of milestones, you know, in our 16 years at GBH, I, w I would have to, I would have to mention, um, you know, being, um, you know, the very um, proud recipients of four yellow pencils, you know, like any creative, you want more, and um, black would be nice. <laughs> this year, I'm very fortunate um, to have been um, elected, I suppose you could say, uh, by my fellow trustees at DNAD to, to be the president of DNAD. I'm trying to, to, to look at what we should continue to do and do well. Um, We've been having um, a long, deep look at the professional development um, offer. Uh, we are having a long look at um, the, the kind of awards um, dinner that we um, deliver. Uh, we're trying to find a more democratic way of, um, of going about that dinner, perhaps more inclusive, perhaps slightly less um, black tie. We're trying to take a new look at the DNAD annual we want to use that powerful opportunity to go into more detail about the award-winning work and why. Um, I mean, our processes, the, um, the diligence of the judging at DNAD, um, it's second to none. Uh, so much effort is put into, um, you know, uh, the right work rising to the top. Um, but I think that we could do more to explain the stories behind the winning work um, not just on the night, but in the book too. The book is, has the potential to be tremendously inspiring. There's a completely new uh, approach to um, the judging uh, of the DNA Deal Awards this year. There's more of a festival mentality and lots of work is going on to try to deliver a series of, um, of talks in the evenings that really um, uh, bring the very best voices out. Uh, you know, we collect more than 200 of the best creatives from around the world, so we want to really maximise um, our time with them and, um, you know, use their, their work, their experience and their voices more meaningfully in the evenings. And, uh, you know, we want to attract a bigger audience to, uh, to take part in Judging Week. I think New Blood is... Um, I think it's potentially the most important thing of all that the DNA does. Um, for me, um, we collect the best work in the world at DNA D, um, not so we can earn from it, but so that we can share it. And I think um, ultimately um, at DNA D, we are not interested in uh, making the DNA D awards easier to win, but we want 
um, ultimately to be able to award more excellent work. So for us, um, it's important to try to do everything we can to make excellent work more likely. And I think, um, you know, New Blood is a fundamental part of that engine, that, that circle, if you like. Um, there's some exciting stuff in the pipeline this year. We're going to be getting younger uh, with our focus too. So there's a partnership um, with um, the London Borough of Hackney, where we're going to be creating a pop-up school in partnership with a school in Hackney and trying to show the potential of a creative career to, 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 to younger potential creatives and perhaps DNA you know, has reached out to before. I think a measure of success for me, you know, if I'm at the, at the back end of the year and I look back, um, I, I want to I make sure that I don't um, have any regrets. I don't want to have that, I wish I'd done that feeling uh, in terms of my own year. Um, I really um, have, a, have, a, have a side agenda um, to try to talk directly to um, the design part of the community. I really want the design um, you know, side of the creative community to feel part of DNAD. Um, you know, please, please hear me straightforwardly. Um, design is very much part of our thoughts. And I, I would be disappointed with myself if I hadn't got that message across loud and clear um, during the year. Um, fundamentally, I want to try to enjoy it. Um, it's tremendously busy. There's a lot going on, lots of traveling required. I mean, you know, part of my role is to be uh, an ambassador for DNAD, lots of, um, you know, people to go and meet. Um, you know, our reach is truly international now, so there's lots of traveling involved. Uh, but bring it on, you know, because um, I think this is the one to win and um, I want to um, do everything I can to spread the word.